Happy Friday, Toku Nation! How are you doing? Ranger Liz here. Welcome to the Toku Week in Review. We have got stuff from so many different places today. We have got uh, Bill, Geo Rumors, we have stuff from x -ray. Oh, you want to know what uh, Kuroto Dan's different faces were? Before he ever gets a Kiva one? Yeah, and I'm still bitter on that one. We also have stuff, Lupin Ranger versus Path Ranger, uh, stuff about their DVD that's coming out, stuff about merch that's coming out with them, Ultraman Rube is getting ready to come out. We got some previews for that as well. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, that might, I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure there's more in the notes. It's all in the notes, guys. Let's get going. Build! Actually, no, we're going to start with build. We're going to start with just Ryder in general, and that is, uh, there's going to be a new line called Common Rider Kicks. It's going to be games, merchandise, and apparel. It will be released for the 20th anniversary of Heisei Ryder. Yay! Yay! More and more legacy! Congratulations, Ryder fans! You get legacy. <laughs> you get the legacy line. You also get fig art, so meh. In build stuff, we did get the Common Rider build Pandora box style CD box set. That's right, apparently they're gonna have the box set actually look like Pandora's box. It makes sense. I mean, it's kind of cool. It's gonna have four original soundtracks on it and the DX CD full bottle. Okay, so it's got Heisei Generations Final, Build the Movie, Be the One, Build TV soundtrack, and the theme song and insert song collection. Seven discs. Guys, seven discs, it's gonna cost you 10,000 yen after tax, and it's set for a September 5th release. Go get to your middleman. Go get it for ya. I can't even comment on the last build, I'm sorry. I did not get a chance to watch it this week. It was crazy. It was like 4th of July and it was tough. I have no comment, but I'm sure everybody is trying to not die. We'll go with that. Kamen Rider Geo, we have a bunch of rumors, guys. So just take everything that I'm gonna say as a rumor. I'm just gonna kind of bleh it all out and just take it with a grain of salt. That's that's all it is. This guy, there could be one right thing in all of this. So this just this is for funs. This is for funsies. Kamen Rider Geo will use 24 different clock faces to represent 24 hours needed to access the writer's timeline to use their powers. I don't know, thanks to Special Form 12 uh, for that one. We got some other ones from Matt Hunt. Geo's collection will be known as the GTCC, the Geo Time Change Collection. I was also seeing some of these with Geo JI. Not 100% sure if it's like gonna be changing or anything. Uh, initial form seemed to be 12 time, 3 time, 6 time, and 9 time. Weapons are Clock Rod, Turn Scene Gun, and Cho Scene Arrow. First legend forms are build time, Kuga time, and XA time. Belt does not, or he doesn't use a belt dehension, instead uses the time timer. The time timer? By inserting the time timings, he, he puts time timings in the time timer. That is dumb dumb. That is. Please. Please let that not, please let that rumor not be true. That's that's all I'm saying in this. As far as the suits and forms go, on his face is written various characters spelling out common no writer. The body is a simple design with kanji written on it. Uh, like, he's going to have kanji on him that you can see from a distance. His form changes will involve changing the form of the characters on his body as well. For example, the characters on his face will change to something else and the kanji on his body will change to Cho Henshin. He also gets red horns, and that would be the Kuga form. The motif will be split between time and words. That's a lot of rumors, guys, but there you go. Maybe it's all true, maybe none of it's true. What do you think? I, of course, have new ones and full actual information as it comes out, but we could be actually seeing a week or two, maybe? We might start getting a little more concrete information on it. For other writers, Kamen Rider Amazon's The Movie Trilogy is going to be getting a Blu-ray box set. It's going to be 17,280 yen, set for an October 3rd release. It's going to have a special sleeve, 48-page booklet, and a making of bonus film. So it's all three of the Amazon movies. The first two, remember, were like summing up all the seasons. And then there was a movie, so that's kind of where those movies were if you were confused. In XA Figuarts news, uh, Hiroto Dan, he gets all of these awesome things. Because remember, he gets two Figuarts 
of him, not even in his suit. And they each get exclusive faces, they are there. I kinda wanna punch him in his face. Yes, all four of them, but I can't. They are uh, joy and anger and then sorrow and fun. So those, if you wanna get in on the pre-order, check out all the links below. They do come out on November with premium Bandai. Moving over to the Sentai side of things, Lupin Ranger versus Patch Ranger. We did get some official images for a few things, including the Jackpot Striker, which is going to be a it's goodie, but repainted. Basically, uh, it's going to be the movie one. And that's going to be released on August of 2018 for 3,200 yen. If you're interested in more Lupin Pato X Noel, Noel, if you're interested in his Mecca, we got some pictures. And this is where, guys, this this is where the, the little personality of Ranger Liz, I, I'll be like, yeah, I like it really good. I just don't like it. I Maybe it'll grow on me, uh, but if you were interested in the X-Emperor set, it comes with the X-Train Gold, Silver, and then the new ones are just gonna be X-Train Fire and X-Train Thunder. You can see pictures, I'll probably have them rotating on there, but it's, ugh, okay, so it can go to X-Emperor Gunner, which is the gold one, X-Emperor Slash, which is silver, so you're gonna have those, and it obviously is just gonna depend on what his suit is. If you have, oh god, if you want to make this thing, you need Good Striker, uh, all the DX Dial Fighters, and the DX Trigger Machines, or the core ones, like the core three tri uh, Trigger Machines, core three Dial Fighters, and Good Striker, and you can make the Good Cool Kaiser VSX. Cool, like C O O L. Good Cool Kaiser. That is, I'm sorry, it just doesn't look. <laughs> that is a cluster, man. It's feet, or, oh, you couldn't even display things, like on the side of it. I'm, but you know what? Everyone has their own opinion, and you are entitled to yours. You may absolutely love it. I don't, but that's just me. I'm also not buying them, so that's that's where we are on that. If you can't wait to watch these wonderful people in action in Blu-ray, episodes 1 through 12, you're going to be coming out on the new Lupin Ranger vs. Path Ranger Blu-ray set. That is right. It is going to be just shy of 20,000 yen. It is set for a September 12th release. It is going to have interviews, roundtable discussions, new cast announcement event, non-super OP, and data and design picture file. Woo! Get on that if you want to get them in the pretties. They are just... I just love them on Blu-ray because they just you get so many great screen grabs off of them. In other Sentai news, we got a reunion, a bittersweet kind of reunion for GoGo5. That would be because Kenji Shibata apparently has been living with an incurable brain tumor. He was the Yellow Ranger in the Sentai. It was very, I mean, the cast members all, they all got together for the first time in about 18 years. Apparently the symptoms were coming on as he was even filming, and he basically stepped away from everything and everyone because they... The cast felt like family, and he didn't want to burden them. Uh, our best wishes go out to him. If you'd like to see more pictures of the event, go ahead and check out the links below. Again, it was bittersweet, but it was nice to see the cast reunited and smiling again, and hopefully lift his spirits up a little bit. Moving on to Ultraman, though. Okay, so now we gotta get we gotta get the hype back up, ready? Right? We gotta get the hype back up. Ultraman starts tomorrow. What Ultraman room? It starts tomorrow. Guys, if you want to get more hyped about it, check it out. We have, first off, it's called Ultraman Has Begun. That is it. There's a special trailer uh, I played in the last episode of Ultraman Orb the Chronicles. So if you want to just get really into uh, learning the characters already, their names, you can get quite a bit of information already out there. So check out all the links below if you want. Uh, we also got to hear like the theme in one of them. It was about a minute and a half preview. Theme sounds were theme song sounds really epic. I've never watched an episode of Ultraman before in my life, and I am going to start watching Ultraman Rube, and I hope you come along with me. Not planning on doing reviews or anything, but after I watch the first episode, I probably will post something about my thoughts of of what I just saw. If you'd like to get their weapons, though, the Rube Slugger has the official images out. It can be split in two. 
which is kind of cool. So apparently the split version is Ultraman Rosso's default mode. So I guess Blue likes it as a single version. Take it off depending on what uh, disc you're gonna put in. It can change colors. Uh, yeah, Rube Crystal, sorry, not disc. Um, with two corners out and shake the slugger four times to charge it. Shaking it again will activate the finisher. Yes, yeah, it looks like a pretty fun toy. It's gonna be 4,500 yen. It is set for a release this month. Don't have a date yet, but this month. So Ultraman action figures are also coming out. We have the Ultra action figure. These, uh, these guys are going to actually come with 17 parts, allowing you to recreate various poses and techniques. Each figure is going to cost you 2,000 yen, except for a late July release, but 17 pieces each for like 20, like, okay, okay, I'll take that. Oh, we also did get, this happened maybe late last week and I didn't get it in, but uh, Ultraman Zero Beyond did get official images out. It's going to be about 6,000 yen for a November 2018 release. Last bit of thing, SSSS Gridman's anime opening and ending themes have been revealed. The opening theme is titled Union by OXT. The ending, ending theme is Youthful Beautiful by Maya Uchida. And that is our Tokusatsu news for the week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Enjoy your weekend, guys. I hope it's a good one. My name is Ranger Liz. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, something like that. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a good one. Toodles.